So I just finished putting my new Hearthstone Craftsberry wood stove in. I was previously using a Century wood stove from I think about 2006 that I bought this. Um, it served very well. It's just a steel stove. It accepted really nice long log splits. The inside didn't have uh, advanced secondary combustion. So I was like, you know, I'll get another stove. I wanted something that would put out a little bit milder heat for maybe a longer period of time, or at least the heat retention portion of it. And I was really looking forward to one of the um, Hearthstone using the soapstone. Um, the square ones, which was the, uh, the tribute, something like this right here. And I went looking at them and I realized the firebox is on the small side. Um, I think that's a 1.1, no, 1.2 cubic feet, uh, firebox. And it's just a little too tiny. Um, and the dimensions didn't really fit here. And the steel stove that I had here, the Sentry... It was just too big. You load it up. You really roast it out of here. This is my sunroom. It's about 9 feet by 25 feet long. And it's adjacent and open to my dining room. But it would just get too warm in this area. So I wanted something different. And I had seen these in the magazines. These cast iron uh, with the soapstone inside. Uh, I had seen them before. And I really didn't think that they'd look as good as they did when I looked at them in person. Um, so I went and looked at the Craftsberry. Um, also the uh, the next size up was the, um, the Shelburne, but it was just a little bit too big for the space that I had. So the Craftsberry with the 1.5 cubic foot firebox was a little bit more along the lines of what I wanted to deal with. Um, I've had to raise it up a little bit using just some uh, patio pavers for now. I'll probably end up getting a nice uh, hearth, um, you know, with the steel frame and raise it up, whatever I have to. But for now, this is good just to see how it works. I did do a test fire in the stove when it was outside um, just to just get a little bit of a burn in there like they say to do a, a pre-fire. And, I mean, the stove is just gorgeous, uh, gorgeous with the porcelain enamel. This is the brown. Um, I did look at the Yodel. Um, I've got that out here. I did look at the F3CB, which was a little bit smaller stove, but I wasn't quite a fan of that. To be honest, just that little round air vent in the front. I just didn't like that in the door. Um, but of course, you know, obviously Yodel with the um, quality that they have, it was just, it just wasn't what I was looking for. Um, and then of course the Yodel 400 Castine. Now this is just a downright gorgeous stove. Um, we actually like the clean facing without the grid lines and the, the door. But this was a little bit too big for this area. Like I said, I was really sold on the Hearthstone with the Soapstone. So what this stove has in it is, it's probably gonna be hard to see because it's kind of dark in here even though I have all the lights on, but this has some Soapstones inside it, at least four that I can see. One on the right side, one on the left side of the grate on the bottom, and then two in the back, which is of course hard to see. Um, it's got the combustion, secondary combustion uh, tubes in there. Um, it's got a nice little small uh, ash tray on the bottom. To be honest, I usually just shovel the ash out. That's what I was doing with the, um, the Sentry stove that I had in here. But, of course, the Sentry stove had a, probably one of the biggest ash trays I've ever seen, which was really convenient, I guess, but I'm not worried about it. But hopefully this works out really nice for this area. I'm hoping to just have milder heat. You know, the, the steel stove would get up, you know, 500, 550 degrees. Um, 
you know, you, you throttle it down, it was still pushing out a lot of heat, and then it would go out pretty quick. You know, it was only about probably like five hour burn times. So this is rated for about five hour burn times, but I'll tell you, just with the, the pre-fire that I did when I was outside on the trailer, <laughs> after I took the fire, I, I literally, you know, I just wanted to get it warmed up. Then I took the wood out, put in a little campfire to let that, you know, go out. But the soapstone literally stayed hot to the touch for several hours after I had, the, you know, the door open and the, the wood completely out of it. No fire inside whatsoever. And it was a 70 degree day. <laughs> Those blocks stayed warm so long. So hopefully, you know, it lives up to expectations. I'm just hoping that it works out the way I, uh, I have it planned. But this is just a difficult area to heat. Um, I have a closet right there to the right. I usually just put um, one of these little black pads. I have another black pad right here that I put up against the door just when I'm using it, uh, the, the stove, just so I don't cook anything. Um, but with the steel stove, it just got too hot too quick and it would go out too fast. So with this mild heat, maybe for a little bit longer, um, I know it's a smaller firebox. Uh, this firebox, I think, was 1.7 cubic feet, um, although it could fit really nice long splits in it. I could go like 21 inches easily, and I'm going to put that in the basement. But this stove should work out really well here. It gives me a little bit more space to get into my little closet there. Um, before anybody says anything, my speakers right there, my stereo. Don't really have any other place to put it. I usually just put some steel chairs up against the, the speakers just to keep the, to deflect the heat. And then of course I have my little, uh, laser infrared temperature sensor that I just shoot things when I'm running it. But I'll do another video once I get this thing churned up. I'm hoping to have like a Arctic freeze come in really quick this year, just so I can try the stove out to be honest. Um, but we'll see how it goes and I'll do another video update. Alright, thanks for watching.